Okay, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mang. Welcome back to Mang Plays the Best Games of All Time. We've got quite the classic here, quite a massive hit when it came out. Everyone was talking about this game. And that is Tomb Raider. The original Tomb Raider, 1996. Starring Lara Croft. It actually says featuring Lara Croft on the box, which is funny. So, Lara Croft was basically a female Indiana Jones that used guns a lot. Uh, and she What's just shoots a lot of things. And she's got opinion. big pointy boobies. It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? So, uh, yeah, Tomb Raider. If you would have asked me, I never would have guessed this. But the game was originally released... On the Saturn. It, it beat the PlayStation release by uh, a couple weeks. Uh, in Europe. It, it released on the Saturn in Europe only. On October 25th, 1996. Then, in North America, the Saturn, PlayStation, MS-DOS versions were all released on November 14th. And... So, yeah, DOS. Could have played Tomb Raider on DOS. Um, so, we're actually going to play the Saturn version. Because, why not? Um... Apparently, all three versions were developed simultaneously with, like, it said each title, the code for each title is identical with an additional layer of specific coding to tailor the game for each platform. So, yeah, I guess, I mean, it should be fairly similar. Let me see the reviews. Some critics rated the PlayStation version better than the Saturn version. Graphics are sharper. Uh, Game Pro scored a half a point higher than the Saturn version in every category. But Next Generation stated it would not bother to review the PlayStation version because the differences between it and the Saturn version were negligible. Okay. Uh, a retrospective analysis by Digital Foundry said Saturn version was the least enjoyable due to lower frame rate and poor audio. Great. Well, we're here, so we're doing it. Um, so yeah, Tomb Raider was a massive hit. Mostly on the PlayStation. Like I said, I never thought of it as anything other than a PlayStation kind of franchise. So... That's why I was surprised to hear that. Um, and they had a lot of Tomb Raider games. Um, Core Design was responsible for the franchise up to a certain point. They, up to 2003. 
2003, they put out Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, the Angel of Darkness, uh, which is apparently so shit, like so abysmally shit. that they lost, like, control. Uh, they were playing a whole trilogy of those games for that, and they lost the whole control of it, switched over to Crystal Dynamics, um, who then carried the torch ever since. I th Yeah, so Crystal Dynamics... Uh, got sold. They were Square Enix. Now they're the Embracer group. But they're still continuing with Tomb Raider because the new Tomb Raiders are all pretty solid. And that's my only experience with Tomb Raider. I've never played any of them except the, the new three. Which I find pretty enjoyable. <sighs> I mean, I owned a PlayStation during, you know, the late 90s or so. Um, it's possible I could have played Tomb Raider. But I'm I we didn't own it. We didn't own it. I don't know. Most of our I like almost our entire PlayStation library was RPGs. If it wasn't an RPG, we just didn't have any interest. So yeah, I don't know. We're gonna get to the Google searches to see best Tomb Raider later. Um I highly doubt it's this one, and if it is sort of this one, I think it's potentially the remake uh, from 2007. But even then, I really doubt it. I feel like the newer ones are just going to crush it. Uh, but, you know, just for nostal not, not nostalgia's sake, just for curiosity's sake, let's check out the original Tomb Raider on the Sega Saturn. Uh, game Jim Controls Gamma. Start game. I will say, though, that this sort of characterization of Lara Croft as being this, like, just almost like Schwarzenegger-esque, just badass of just mowing down everything, I think it makes more sense. You know, that when she does kill everybody, like, you know, look at this. Like, you know, there's no, like, narrative dissonance there. Whereas with the new one, she's like this almost like demure, um, um, this very ladylike Lara Croft, who's just like, oh, oh, you know, I'm so sorry, I have to kill you all. I don't know. It's just, it's definitely a different characterization. But you don't see the newer Lara Croft as being this person that has killed hundreds of people. Or is this one? It's like, yeah, probably. She won't give a fuck. Alright, here it is. The OG. So it's, uh... It's basically tank controls. Moving forward just moves you forward in whatever direction you're looking. Oh my god. And then buttons will do stuff. Here's my guns. Oh, we can jump. There we can fire our guns. 
I mean, yeah, it does seem pretty low frame rate. My issue here is that, oh, come on, yeah, she's got no momentum. My issue here is that this is the same year that Super Mario 64 came out. And look at how fucking effortless it is to move around and jump in Super Mario 64. Obviously, you know, they're not trying to go for that cartoonish of movement or anything like that. But still, her jump is ridiculous. There we go. But just the overall movement. The, the fact that... The fact that N64 had a thumbstick. And PlayStation didn't. I mean, that was such a big factor for 3D. Now, I believe there was a PlayStation controller later that added the thumbsticks. It's kind of insane. Like, if I didn't know that this was Tomb Raider, if I had never heard of it, and you just handed this to me and said, hey, this is one of the best games of all time, I would just be like, really? You know? Like, what about this is so amazing? Okay, that wasn't right. Oh my god. Well, part of the problem is I don't know. There it is. Nope. There it is. There it is. Get your guns out, girl. Damn, rapid fire on that shit. No? Okay. Yeah, I think it's kind of laughable now. And I... Uh, unfortunately, I didn't play it in 1996 or whatever. There it is. So, I can't comment on, like... Yeah, yeah, you know, this looks shitty now, but back in the day, oh, man. It was incredible. But, I mean, it's pretty wild, because, I mean, come on, you can... You can see how well Super Mario 64 is held up. And how not well this is held up. True, we're not playing the PlayStation version, but still. Even reviewers at the time were like, yeah, they're they're pretty similar. go. But I mean, I can fully believe that Lara Croft in 1996 was the hottest video game character in existence. I don't like 
need this. Okay, I can move. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, it's something, isn't it? What was the point of this? Oh, hold on. I'm definitely not arguing it's sort of influence. I mean, this is really like the birth of the 3D kind of action game, action adventure game. Oh, great. I'm so glad we did that. Oh, I don't want to fuck around anymore. I think we got an idea. Yeah, it's... I don't think... Yeah. I don't think this game does anything better than any other game in the... Well, no, I won't say that. I, I doubt if we look at the rating rankings, this is at the bottom. <laughs> but that's that's terrifying. Yeah. God damn it. It is not too pleasant. Alright. Let's take a look. In a book. Uh, ten best Tomb Raider games of all time from Games Radar. They have Tomb Raider at number three. Really? You gotta love it, though. By modern standards, the platforming is as stiff as old-school Lara's acting, but there's no denying the original Tomb Raider is one of the most influential video games of all time. That's not what the fucking question is! And then it says, While most developers were struggling to get to grips with the original PlayStation and Sega Saturn, Core Design casually dropped an all-time classic action-adventure. Out of seemingly nowhere. If it was an all-time classic, you wouldn't say how stiff the platforming is. Unlike Super Mario 64, where people don't shit on the platforming. Uh, they put Rise of the Tomb Raider as number one. Uh, which is my favorite. But they say Shadow of the Tomb Raider is worse than the original Tomb Raider. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that one. Alright, GoombaStomp.com. I don't even know if you can have that legally as a URL. Uh, it seems racist. But they have ranked all the main series. They have Angel of Darkness at number 12. Uh, Tomb Raider Original at number 9. It's actually ahead of Tomb Raider 3. Uh, Tomb Raider 2 at number 7. Tomb Raider re, uh, 2013 at number 3. Then Shadow, then Rise. So yeah, the three new ones all in the top three slots. Not really surprising. Uh, let's go to Reddit. Uh, okay, what is your favorite... Least favorite Tomb Raider games. Okay. I feel like if you don't put... You can't... They put Tomb Raider as number one. But then they put Tomb Raider in all capitals as number seven. I imagine the, the all capitals is the original. Because that's sort of how it's stylized on the cover. I would guess. I think my favorite is the very first one. I just love how laser-focused it is on solving puzzles and exploring tombs, caves, ruins, etc. There's not a whole lot of combat until the end of the game, and even then it doesn't come at the expense of everything else. i played it twice in the last couple of years, and I wouldn't mind having another run-through. Hmm. Another person commented, it's not only nostalgia, I played all Tomb Raider games except the first one. I'm playing it for the first time right now, almost at the end, and it is marvelous. 
This person put Tomb Raider 2013 as one of their least favorites, and one is one of their favorites. Uh, but this person is playing through all the classic ones. They put the first one at number five. Hmm. Yeah, most people, though, do not rank the first one too highly. It's not horrible. Oh, Tomb Raider in all caps is the 2013 reboot. I thought that was universally known. So they put the original at number one, the best of the entire franchise. I find this incredibly hard to believe. Hmm. Well, in that case, then, it seems the original is fairly popular. Uh... I'd say somewhat popular. Most of the time, it does not appear in the number one slot. And if it does, it's usually nostalgia. All right, here's a poll with the first six games. Uh, the top most goes to Tomb Raider 2, followed by Tomb Raider 1. But it's very close to Tomb Raider 3. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a... It's iffy. It's iffy. But... A lot of Tomb Raider fans seem to like one. I can't really begin to imagine. But I suppose it's a very different game to, like, the reboots. Huh. This is not really what I expected, I'll be honest. I still don't know if I can say it's one of the best games of all time. But maybe. Maybe no vote on this one. I'd say no vote leaning no, but it seems to have plenty of fans still. It's always a sad state of affairs, like I've said before. When you have fucking, what, 12, 13 games in the franchise, and people still prefer your first one? Not too impressive, then. But, yeah, there you go. Uh, well, let me know uh, your thoughts on this. Obviously, I don't have any interest in playing this one or most of the games in the franchise, but I'm excited for another new one. But I guess that's just because it's more like Uncharted and just about killing things rather than solving puzzles and platforming. But there you go. All right, my name is Mang. This has been Mang Plays the Best Games of All Time with Tomb Raider. I'll see you fine folks next time.